Dubai has become so famous that most people around the world think of it as a country, but it is just a state in the United Arab Emirates. Dubai was just a desert less than 70 years ago, but today, it is one of the world's leading tourism destinations. Before this, the pearl business was a major source of income. Foreigners would come from far and wide to buy pearls from Dubai. But the pearl business ended in 1930 due to the popularity of artificial pearls following the Great Depression in 1929. So Dubai turned to trade to restore its fortunes. It became a bustling trade location throughout its region. But Dubai always planned to build big cities. The former ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, was a visionary man. He commissioned a British architect named John Harris to devise a master plan for the rejuvenation of Dubai in 1959. This was years before oil was discovered. Once oil was discovered in 1966, the plan was put into action and one of the first things that they built was a large shipping port so they could be able to generate more revenue from trade. They then used the income they generated from trade and oil to develop other areas like tourism and real estate. Today, Dubai does not rely on the income generated from oil as oil generates just 5% of Dubai's revenue. In order to attract industrial investment, Dubai established the Jebel Ali Free Trade Zone in the 1980s. This policy allowed foreigners to set up tax-free businesses in Dubai and operate from Dubai without needing a local partner. They also set up policies that allowed foreigners to buy and own properties for 99 years in Dubai. These policies attracted lots of investors into Dubai. The ruler of Dubai's vision had made Dubai what it is today. Where there was only deserts a few years ago, there are only skyscrapers now. Trade is the core of Dubai's economy. The city operates two of the world's largest ports and a busy international air cargo hub. Dubai is now home to the world's tallest buildings, the Burj Khalifa, and it is home to the second largest mall in the world, known as the Dubai Mall, and so many other beautiful infrastructures. Dubai has grown in size and in wealth, becoming a global brand and a global leader in digital transformation. One man's vision and continuous commitment to that vision has made Dubai what it is today. What is your vision and what steps are you taking to realize it? Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumbs up icon on your way out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.